The Royal Academy of Art Summer Exhibition has opened this week amidst debate about price tags and the range of work. Traditionally, it's a chance for amateur and professional artists to exhibit side by side and a chance for the public to buy art without having to go through dealers. But this year, one work is on sale for a million pounds and some are questioning the point of the exhibition. Well, I'm joined now by Godfrey Barker, the Daily Telegraph's art critic, and the artist John Bellany, a member of the Royal Academy of Art. Good morning to both of you. Godfrey, first of all, you have said that you would like this summer exhibition to be the last. Why is that? Well, the Royal Academy does marvellous things really well, in particular its exhibition programme, and everyone should go and see George Gross just ending and Hiroshiga just beginning while they've got the chance. But it also does the summer exhibition, which is a different category altogether. And for years, the summer exhibition has been criticised, I think justly, for being jammed with too many mediocre works, which are to a large degree overpriced, my sense is that something which is damaging the reputation of the Academy over so long a period um, should at least be reformed and probably after 229 years be done away with altogether. John Bellany, you're involved in setting up the exhibition and deciding what goes in it. Do you accept that? You're, you're cramming it with mediocre works? No, because in fact there were, there were 14,000 works were sent in and uh, I think we, we chose uh, 1200 so I mean it's quite a heavy selection um, and I, 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 I agree with God for the, the, the there's a diff qualitative difference between the summer exhibition and say something that is yours grows because it's the man's the best paintings and the, that the man produced throughout his whole life because this is a general show where you have a butcher hanging alongside, a, you know, maybe one of Britain's greatest painters. Well, it's, I think we can it, actually see some pictures that were filmed yesterday of, of uh, example of some of this year's yeah. works. So let's have those going while we carry on talking. Uh, I mean, is it right, John, that, that each painting gets about 10 seconds viewing before no, it's decided whether it's No, it's more it's than 10 seconds. Out. Also remember that the people who are judging it have been do uh, yeah, are quite skilled at this. We've been doing it for years. We've all been professors in, in uh, colleges for, uh, you know, 20 or 30 years. So uh, we can actually judge something quite quickly. Well, you may be quite skilled, but you've got a heart like a marshmallow because you're far too kind <laughs> to too many people. But that's, um, but that, I think, that, that, I think, think that's the probably the right. Should the exhibition be more so, focused, John? But, should it be but, fewer paintings? But, but, I, I, th I, think, I think you could be right, but also we, th there is such a thing as generosity of spirit. Now, this is a unique situation in the world where you can have um, someone who, who maybe paints in the evenings uh, exhibiting beside these major world artists, people like Jasper Johns. And, and I think, I, I don't think we should lose our generosity of spirit. What's wrong with a bit of human kindness? As, as long as the quality doesn't sink too low. Well, and I, I don't think the quality is that low. But John, apparently that, that sort of human kindness isn't uh, shown by the artists who set their own prices and some of the prices are astronomical. Is that what you think, Godfrey? Well, that un <laughs> unfortunately is true. Um, there is a... I mean, one painting for a million pounds? I mean, sh well, don't let's talk about that particular painting because it's um, you know had its uh, run, run round the promenade. Couldn't afford it um, anyway. You know, in its own pajamas um, already. Do, do you think that other paintings are well, priced too high? I'm afraid this is so. Let's say right at the beginning that pricing the work of living artists is extremely hard. It's like putting a price um, on a box of chocolates. Um, art has no intrinsic value, and something that was produced five minutes ago, in a sense, can hardly be priced at all. But having said that. There is a vigorous market in the work of living artists, which is operated by the auction houses, Sotheby's, Christie's, Phillips, Bonhams, and by the dealers in Bonham What's in What's wrong uh, with cutting out the middle man, Cutting out the dealer, what's wrong well, with that? The dealers and the auction houses get the price right. Um, if they didn't, they'd go under. What worries me about the Academy is that there are many painters here who are asking three, four, five times the highest price they've ever received at auction. And to me, I wouldn't use the word rip-off, but that does strike me as an invitation to the public, um, which is not quite a fair one. Mm. See, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm not much help here because uh, when we are selecting, we're not allowed to look 
at the name of the art. I'm not allowed to look at the back of the painting, so I have no earthly idea what people, what prices people are putting on. So that's I'm I'm actually only making aesthetic judgments. I'm not involved in this marketing aspect, so I'm afraid I'm. Uh, I have. I, there's nothing much I can say about that. All right, well, the, the, the prices I put in my own pictures are the prices that museums have, have bought paintings for that price. So that's how my my own pictures well, are priced. Thank you both very much indeed. We can all make our own judgments <laughs> by going to see the exhibition. That is all from the programme today. Breakfast News Extra is back at nine tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.